The U.S. Army was established on June 14, 1775, to fight for independence from England with George Washington as its commander. Unlike the U.S. Navy, the Army was not disbanded at the end of the Revolutionary War. However, fear of a standing army in peacetime would cause debate about the size and organizational makeup of this military branch. Articles 1 and 2 of the United States Constitution empowered Congress to raise and fund an army with civilian control residing with the president as the commander-in-chief. It was realized after the defeats of Generals Harmers and St. Clair in the early 1790s in what is now Ohio and Indiana that a standing army had to be the bulwark against invasion and internal insurrection, which led Congress to authorize a small force. The disasters during the War of 1812 would be the final resolution against those opposed to a standing army. The army played a key role in westward expansion. Explorations such as those of Lewis and Clark, Zebulon Pike, and others were military endeavors. The Army also kept the peace on the frontier and protected the immigrant wagon trains that increasingly headed west. Small outposts would be established along the trails as signs of U.S. presence and provided protection and trading opportunities. Campaigns against Native Americans defined the Army's role during much of the 19th century. The victory following the War of Mexico from 1846 to 1848 expanded the southern regions of the country from Texas to California. It also served as a training ground for many officers who would lead the Union and Confederate armies during the Civil War. The Civil War would see an increase of size of armies on both sides and was the most costly war in U.S. history with over 700,000 casualties. Recruitment of African Americans into the Army was encouraged for the first time since the Revolutionary War. The war's end in 1865 did not mean the end of a need for a large army. Aside from continued westward expansion, the army needed soldiers for occupation of the South during Reconstruction, which lasted until 1877. Soldiers were also needed to garrison coastal fortifications and patrol the northern and southern borders. By the time the frontier was declared closed in 1890, army strength was at approximately 28,000 soldiers. In 1898, the United States declared war on Spain, and Congress authorized an increase in the Army's size by 250,000. After a quick victory, the United States acquired Guam, Puerto Rico, and the Philippines. Soldiers were now needed to guard and protect these new American territories. With approximately 150,000 soldiers, when the United States entered World War I in April 1917, the Army would expand to over 4 million by the end of the war in November 1918, with over 2 million soldiers transported to France. During the interwar years, the Army would draw down to a skeleton force in the 20s and 30s due to budget constraints, an isolationist foreign policy, and then the Great Depression. On the eve of the Second World War, the American Army had roughly 180,000 men, which ranked at 19th in the world after Portugal's army. By the end of the war in 1945, the American Army stood at over 8 million men and women. By 1948, the Army again scaled down this time to 684,000 troops. After World War II, the United States entered the 40-year Cold War against communist aggression. Through the 50s, 60s, and 70s, the Army was at the tip of the spear during the Korean War and Vietnam. In 1983 and 1989, respectively, the Army also protected American lives during the invasions of Grenada and Panama. Desert Storm, in 1990 to 1991, saw the Army successfully work with large international coalition. The beginning of the 21st century would again see the Army at the forefront of United States policy during the operations in the Middle East and Central Asia. Today, the Army continuously contributes to various humanitarian and peacekeeping operations around the world. The role of the U.S. Army is dynamic and has changed many times over its proud history. What will not change is that no matter when or where it is called to fight, maintain order, or participate in relief operations, the Army will continue to be the ultimate symbol of the nation's resolve and determination.